Hi everybody, my name is Jordan and thanks for tuning in to my first video. We are going to be doing a quick clean with me in my bedroom and my kitchen. I'm going to be starting on a little bit of laundry that we had on our bed. Mainly it is just my two year olds and a couple things of my husband's. I am going to quickly put those clothes away and then we will start making the bed. I like to make the bed every single day just to be able to set the rest of my day up for success because it is super motivating just to know that one little thing is done as soon as you wake up. We are now in my kitchen. It became super messy over the course of two days. My parents came to visit from Indiana the day before and we just got done making lunch. So everything was still out all over the counters and it was super disgusting. Right now I'm gonna start with unloading my dishwasher. That is my favorite thing to do when I begin to clean the kitchen every single day. So as I am putting the dishes in here, you cannot see, but my dog is actually right here next to me and he is pre-cleaning the dishes. So I have been cooking every single meal and my kids snack every half hour. I'm not joking. I feel like it's every half hour they need something to constantly eat. And that winds up to be a lot of dishes. So I've been doing two loads of dishes per day just to be able to keep up on it. So now since we are done with the dishes, we can clear the counters off. The counters usually become a catch-all in our home, especially that end counter. We tend to put all of our recycling there until it's ready to be taken out, and that's become a huge, horrible habit for us. 
We moved into this house at the very end of October. So we plan on buying a new recycling bin when my husband gets paid again. So now we're going to finish the dishes. There are always those items that you have to wash by hand, whether they just don't fit right in the dishwasher or they are just suitable to be washed in there. The dish soap I usually use is 7th generation, the free and clear. I prefer soaps without scents. So now we're going to start cleaning the oven. I have to do this every single day. I usually end up having to do a deep clean on it at the end of the night. This is the first oven we've ever had that is a glass stove top. So I use my Bonamy cleaner. I love it. And I use my Thieves cleaner with it. And my Thieves cleaner I get from Young Living and it's just a cat bowl of cleaner. And the rest is water and it's non-toxic. So I only use non-toxic cleaners, especially since I have small children, but you saw what I did with patting down some of the powder and then mixing it in with the leaves cleaner and just scrubbing it really good all over. So sometimes this takes me a little bit longer. I like to scrub it a little bit more just because of the surface with the two cleaners. Then I go through with the sponge on the softer side just to pick up any extra liquid on it just to wring out in the sink. And then I like to do a few passes with the paper towels and spray on a little bit of extra Thieves cleaner just so that way I can get through those cracks a little bit easier and also remove any streaks. So in most of my videos, you guys are going to see that little white fur ball following me everywhere. That is Yoshi. He is a Shiba and he is my baby. I have three human children, but he is my baby. He 
is my little shadow. He follows me everywhere and you guys are just going to learn to love him as much as I do. So as we wrap up this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for checking out my video and hopefully you guys return for more. If you would, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and the bell. I would love to also engage with you guys in the comment section and thank you once again. Here's my Instagram posted and I really hope to talk to you guys soon.